My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2013. Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Where it comes to love, I am going to refer you to the 2014 annual horoscope, love horoscope that I've already recorded and posted on my YouTube channel and on my website. And I'm going to refer you to that because it is this month that a lot of the themes that I talk about, the major learning, the major lessons that I talk about in that video actually start for you now this month. It is that important a time for you where the lessons of the coming year become highlighted for you now. And the events that transpire this month are going to be ones that you are referring to again and again throughout December and especially throughout the early part of 2014. And so this is a time for you to be paying very close attention. You know, I find it really interesting what's happening for you in the sky this month. The part of the sky that's really lit up where the solar eclipse is taking place is understood as an area of the sky that has to do with fulfillment. It has to do with creative fulfillment, especially. And also one understanding of it has to do with children as well. But what's very interesting is that a more modern interpretation of the sky associates this part of the sky for you with flirtation, with meeting someone, dating somebody. Now I have found Cancerian energy um, deals with this interpretation in a few very interesting ways. This isn't the way the ancients understood it. The ancients saw this part of the sky, as I said, with creation, with leisure, with fun, with children. But we today in our modern world have had the astrology evolve right along with us because astrology is a living practice. And a more modern interpretation of the sky does link fun and pleasure with flirtation and meeting new people and dating. But this says a lot about how we today understand love and partnership very differently than we did before. Cancer ultimately is an energy that has to do with tradition. It has to do with home. It has to do with what's established. But more than that, with Cancerian energy, if you think about it, your ruling planet is the moon. The moon is constantly changing. Those of you who have ever stood at the banks of a beach know that the tides come in and the tides go out. And that is very reflective of the movements of the moon. The moon grows full, the moon becomes new. It waxes and it wanes. And as the moon is your representative in the sky, your feelings can wax and wane as well. And so where it comes to relationships, while there is that mask, if you will, of the, the party person, the Cancerian likes to wear that mask at certain phases in life. Really, the reality of the situation is with so much emotion happening just underneath the surface, it is really people that you try to hold on to that, so that you can feel a sense of consistency in your life. And so I have found, in my humble opinion, that it's very difficult for cancers to actually access fun and dating at the same time, to consider that the same archetype. There may be certain phases where you can do that, but for the most part, your emotional intensity and your desire for emotional connection are just too high and you take relationships more seriously than maybe some people of some other signs might. But having said that, it is still this part of the sky that's lit up. And so if you are one of those Cancerians who is currently in party mode, who is currently wearing that mask, you know, that is the, the shape of the shell, of the crab shell that is happening for you now to hide that sensitivity within, well then yeah, you'll have fun, you'll be going to lots of parties, you'll be enjoying yourself, and there'll likely be some flirtation that's a part of that. But keep in mind the larger lesson. It has to do with love. 
right now. And it is the start of a journey that's going to be with you for many months to come. And the lesson has to do with what you would do for love and what you would not do for love. What is asking too much? and what you would freely give and happily give and where you need to find a healthy balance where you're caring for yourself and you're caring for another in a way that is balanced, that is healthy and that nurtures a stronger bond instead of weakens it. So have your fun, enjoy your life, of course, but keep in mind that you're also at the beginning of some very powerful lessons. And so pay attention to those. Enjoy. Enjoy the learning, enjoy the tough stuff, but it's not all going to be tough. In fact, I think that you're going to have a lot of fun and I think you are going to be very entertained by the people that you attract and the very charming moments that find you. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.